Hello friends! So, some of you guys may have noticed that I've obviously been to Croatia recently and you might be asking yourself, why was I in Croatia in the first place with a bunch of girls? Well, that is a good question and I'm going to tell you. I am currently in college and at my university there is something called the International Service Learning Program, ISLP for short and I am currently in that. There are a lot of components that go into being an ISLP, but basically for ISLP there are five trips that you can choose from, and I obviously chose to go to Croatia. On the trip we would be traveling for 10 days, but for seven of those days we would be doing cultural activities, traveling around the country, traveling around other countries, and then for three days we would be teaching in a local high school. When you choose a trip, you choose a discipline to go with, so maybe your major or something like that, but there's a lot of disciplines that you can choose from, kind of like nursing, communications, justice administration, there are many to choose from on every single trip, but I chose communications because communications is my major, so I figured that I would get the most benefit going with my major. So for the past six months, we would meet twice a week, and our group would make a workbook for our high schoolers that we would be teaching so we could teach them different aspects of communications. Our overall subject was health messages, so that was basically what we were supposed to be talking about. So we had to make communications and health messages relate to one another. Communications wasn't the only group that got to go. We also had a nursing group that got to go with us and they made their own workbook that was related to health messages so they could also teach in the high schools with us. When we got to Croatia, we would be splitting into two groups and each group would go to a different high school. So there was different nursing students and there was different communications students in each group and we would just be collaborating and working with each other to teach these high schoolers. So as the day arrived when we would be teaching these students, we were all very nervous but very excited to have this experience and we knew that it would be a fantastic experience. So let's watch how this story unfolded. As we got to the school and saw our students, we became less nervous because they welcomed us with open arms. So we started teaching right away. The communication students taught about how to identify health messages and the nursing students taught about violence and STIs. The students were really great at listening and loved to get involved with the activities. Over the three days of teaching, we made great friendships with the students. We ended our time together by doing service at a local retirement home where we got to really know the people of Croatia. So right now we're getting ready to go to a press conference that CSOC is putting on for us because we are teaching the students here. So I'm really excited. There's going to be TV shows, newspapers, etc. I'm not sure what to expect, but hopefully it'll be fun. We'll see. At the press conference, I was lucky enough to be able to speak in front of the people of CSOC and to thank them for allowing us to be there. So that's how our program went. It was amazing and you know it's always nice to have friends in different locations because it just means your heart is in different places and I'm so glad that it's in Croatia. So thank you to everybody that made this possible, to all the professors who went with us, to all the other students that I went with. You all are great. I met some of my best friends on this trip and I hope that everybody else on the trip feels the same way. Thank you to the schools that invited us to come teach and thank you for all the students that were so nice and listened to all of us and really put a lot of effort into workbooks, etc. And also thank you to Croatia for letting us have this opportunity. It was so amazing and I think I can speak for everybody that it was one of the best experiences that we've ever had and I can't wait to go back or experience another ISLP somewhere else. So thank you for this week's video. 
Hopefully you all enjoyed, and I will see you guys next week. Bye!